Yo, what's up guys? Mikey Polo here, back at it with another video, man. And today, I'm gonna be showing you how to connect your Quest 2 to your PC using Virtual Desktop. Now, a lot of you guys already know you can use a link cable to connect your Quest 2 to your PC, but cables can be extremely uncomfortable to wear in VR, especially when you're in your gameplay, man, and you wanna be immersed and whatnot. We're gonna be focusing on the wireless side of things today. Now, there's two wireless methods you can use. One of them is completely free, and that's the Oculus app. And if you wanna go that route, I did drop that video at the same time that I'm dropping this video, but I find it to be extremely buggy in comparison to Virtual Desktop, which is a one-time purchase of $20. And I'm not sponsored by Virtual Desktop, not at all. I've just been using the Quest 2 since the day it came out, and trust me, like I prefer Virtual Desktop so much more. It just performs way better. Now, step one in actually downloading Virtual Desktop and getting this all started is to go to download the Oculus app. You need this to get started. This is step one. So go to the first link in the bio and download the software right here. For step two, we're actually gonna be jumping into our quest. So let's throw the headset on and hop on over to VR. So now that we're in VR, we can hop on over to the Oculus store, Meta store, whatever you wanna call it. Search up virtual desktop and purchase that. Like I said, it's gonna be $20. Step three, we're back on the PC side and we're gonna to wanna to go back over to Chrome and download the virtual desktop streamer app. If you're on Windows, there's a little Windows logo right here. I've never used virtual desktop on Mac. If you wanna go ahead and do that, be my guest. Let me know how it works out for you though. So step four, open the virtual desktop app on your PC you shouldn't see a name here for your first time, so go ahead and put your Oculus username in. The same one that matches in your headset. Don't just make one up. Um, hit save. And yes, my Oculus username is ThickDaddy23. <laughs> you can add me if you want. All right, guys, so this is the most important step. Make sure that the Wi-Fi on your headset matches the connection on your PC. For me, this is Polo Gaming 5G. So in my headset, it needs to say that my Wi-Fi is connected to Polo Gaming 5G. This is only because this is how the two virtual desktop apps communicate with each other. They're connecting over the internet and you need a good internet connection for this to work. If your internet connection is bad and you're gonna have to stick with the link cable because you need a good connection if you don't wanna lag and experience a lot of issues with wireless VR. And just like that, we're all set up. So now let me show you guys what virtual desktop looks like. So this is what virtual desktop looks like when you first open it. Hit the start button on your left controller. This will bring up this little tab right here. The first category is computers and it should list your computer right here. Mine's already connected. You, you might have a connect button for yours since it's your first time. Just go ahead and hit that. Hop over to environments. And this is pretty cool actually. We can hop through these. These are just virtual environments to use your computer. Like I said, what's on this computer right now is my desktop in real time. So like, it's just a cool place to be, you know, using my PC. I can switch to another environment. I think this one's really cool. A little apartment, you got a nice view and whatnot. And yeah, this is pretty dope. But anyways, moving on to the more important stuff, the settings. This is what I wanna go over for you guys. Environment quality, I got mine set to high. Frame rate at 90. Desktop bit rate, this one's more important. The higher you turn this up, the more it will increase battery usage. So for me, I got it cranked all the way up because I usually have a battery pack on my Quest that gives me about like four extra hours of time in VR. So, and I'm never in VR that long. So I just crank this all the way up and it doesn't bother me at all. And it gives me way better performance when streaming my Quest to my PC or streaming my PC to my Quest. Um, the rest of these aren't that important, but you can just copy them. Streaming right here, back to some important stuff. VR graphics quality, make sure this matches your graphics card. If you got a low graphics card, go with low. I'm on a 1660 Super, I'm on low. Um, medium, if you got that, if you got a 20 series, you know what I'm saying, go over there. High, ultra, if you got it, do it. If you don't, don't push it. That's all, that's my point. VR frame rate, 120 FPS, bit rate, 100 megabytes per second and the rest of these don't matter. You can just copy these. But now, if you're on Steam and you got some Steam VR games that you bought and whatnot, um, you can play those with your Oculus Quest 2. 
by going over here and hitting launch Steam VR. For me, Steam VR is already launched on my computer, but you'll have a button that says launch Steam VR. I can just switch to VR and this is what Steam VR looks like. I have desktops right here. I can see my desktops. I can click this menu and open Steam up from here. Um, like I said, go back to library. These are all my VR games that I own on Steam. Half-Life Alex, Boneworks, Fail, you know. Um, and yeah. So that's it, man. That's all for the video. I hope I got you guys set up properly. Um, leave a like and comment below if I did. Uh, I hope you're using this method instead of the Oculus app one. Um, but you can check in the description below on a comparison between the two if you want to watch that video. In other words, man, I wish you guys a good time in VR. Y'all take it easy. See you in the next one.